Welcome to Racer TV. It's not every day that something so different and outstanding go hand in hand in such an original motorcycle. It was named Diva. Very appropriate to such aesthetic. And the maestro of this symphony is this man, the Italian Giulio Pa, an industrial designer with a passion for motorcycles. His inspiration came out from the beginning of the 20th century, when design was usually dictated by function. These were the lines that drove him to this project. Giulio wanted to keep the profile of the BMW low, with the tank below the seat line. But there's another reason for that. I know that a minute ago, you found the riding position strange. Unusually high. Isn't it? Is this a design problem? Not quite. It was made on purpose. Giulio wanted to create a new riding sensation. Like flying over the road surface. And it seems he really got it. The riding position is so high. That the rider almost forgets that he's riding a motorcycle. It was built for a sense of freedom, and to gratify the senses. I did not tell the whole truth, when I wrote in the video title, BMW R1200. Because the only thing related to this model, is the engine. The gearbox and the electric system. Almost everything else was built from scratch. It's just impossible, to show all the amazing details of this machine. Not only the aesthetics are impressive, but also the level of quality and technology, used during the construction. The bodywork, and non-load bearing components, are made of carbon fiber. The colors were impregnated into the fabric, before being cooked in the autoclave. All the structural pieces, were designed and drawn in three dimensions, for the CNC molds, and aluminium milling. And it weights 40 kilograms less, than the stock model. Not a race bike, but definitely fast. In the end, it's mainly an exercise of creativity. At the highest level. The kind of bike, that no one can insert in a category. Everything is just sublime. Remarkable. And magnificent. 
Julio did an outstanding and audacious work. I don't see it as something different. This is more a rethinking exercise of what a motorcycle never was and what it can be. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.